With less than 48 hours to go before opening day, there's a big heads up for folks headed downtown. Uh, multiple road closures in and around the downtown core. That could cause a snag ahead of uh, the big game. Let's get out to Sean Lay. Uh, all this is coming down to, a lot of this, I should say, is coming down to the, this work that's being done for the NFL draft, Sean. And I can show you all that work that's going on. And hopefully you got your parking plan in place for opening day. However, you may want to add this to your plan. You're going to see some road closures around this area. This is Lafayette looking straight down towards Randolph across the street over there. That's the stage being built for the NFL draft. There are some road closures right around that stage. And if you're coming down anywhere near this area, you do not want to get caught off guard or by surprise. So now we're going to show you exactly what streets around here will be closed opening day. Places to eat downtown are open, but you need to know that some streets downtown are closed. Here's why. The NFL draft stage is taking shape here at Randolph and Monroe. The crush of crews need room to work. We made this high def fly through of downtown Detroit, Comerica Park on the top of your screen. And here is the triangle of streets that are off limits right now. And thousands of you Tigers fans are coming downtown for opening day. Let me show you what stands out to me as a possible red flag on opening day. Let's put up drone four to show you here on Randolph. We have barricades at Fort and Lafayette beyond them. That's the NFL draft setup, but you can see Comerica Park right from here. So some people trying to get to opening day might be caught off guard by some of these street closures. The city says don't you cut off guard, simply plan ahead. This is not just a one and done deal for us. We asked the chief of infrastructure for the city, Sam Krasenstein, about any gridlock concerns for Friday. Is that going to be an issue, traffic flow, with some of the streets closed for the draft? I don't think so. With this first phase, we kept the traffic closures to a minimum. Let's send drone fort skyward again to give you a look at the lay of the land. Monroe is closed from campus marshes to Greektown, along with North Cadillac Square, Farmer and Bates also closed. Fans may get caught off guard. That could clog up streets on opening day. Uh, and if you are worried about coming downtown, you can take advantage of public transit. So you can park a little bit further north, take the queue line down, take the people mover around the city, both of which are free. And um, plan your trip ahead. Don't get caught always. off guard. Even if no roads are closed, you should always be planning ahead because Detroit is the place to be right now. Uh, and so you should always be looking and seeing and know what to expect. Back here live downtown. One quick tip you might want to remember, guys, as a father of four, yes, park away from the area, hit the people mover, works every time. We're live downtown. Sean Lee, local four. Back Gotta have a plan. Exactly right. All right, yeah. Sean.